Hola Pescaditos, welcome back to the channel. If you're just finding it off the title of the video, uh, welcome to the channel. This is Certified Dinks. My name's Caleb and I post fishing related content, a lot of it revolving around kayak fishing. Today what we're going to be doing is installing a Yak through hole wiring kit and a Hydra Concepts wiring clamshell on my Ascend 12T fishing kayak. I have a Garmin Striker 4 Plus with CV fish finder uh, but the cable management is definitely lacking you know it comes with really long cabling because a lot of people are using it for john boats or even I guess larger uh, bass or fishing boats so there's plenty of cabling with it much more than is necessary for the way that I have it set up on my kayak so today we're gonna try and manage it a little bit better so let's get started my striker 4 is mounted on the center storage compartment lid uh, I just have the direct mount, it's just screwed in. I have some washers on the bottom to hold it tight. So I'm gonna run all of my wiring through that main compartment on the bottom. So I'm gonna use that clamshell on top behind the fish finder uh, to run it to where it plugs into the fish finder. And then I'm gonna use the Yak Attack through hole wiring kit uh, to have the wiring come out near the scupper arm for the transducer and then for the back where my battery is behind my seat. The Yak Attack through hole wiring kit comes with some very detailed instructions. It has pictures, step by step uh, directions on how to install the grommets. So I'm essentially just following those. It's not that complicated, but we're going to see just how long it takes, uh, how easy it is to install.
Okay, one down, one to go. Uh, it ended up being really messy with the silicone, but obviously that's what's gonna help keep it watertight. So now we're gonna do the battery uh, through hole port, and then we'll move on to the Hydro Concepts clamshell that'll go behind the actual fish finder. I'll either time-lapse the battery port or just kind of show a before and after or something because there's no reason to show it twice. Long story short, the way that you install these Yak Attack through hole ports is you mark where you want it to be, mark the center, make sure that it'll actually go through. Drill a one inch hole with a hole saw. Um, put the rubber grommets in the port and put the port frame over the hole so it'll kind of hold in place. Drill your pilot hole for one of your screws. Screw that one in most of the way. Drill your pilot hole for the other screw. Take it all off, run your wiring through, put your wiring through the grommet and then silicone everything up and screw it back in for it to be mounted. So it's not very complicated. Uh, it gets a little bit tricky once you start getting real slippery silicone over everything. Um, so you wanna try and keep that cleaned up looking nice. But we'll do this battery port and then we'll move on to the Hydro Concepts clamshell. Okay, here's a little pro tip for you. Um, I'm having a little bit of trouble because of the length of my kayak and there's like foam baffles in the main compartment of it. I'm having a little trouble running my power cable up to where I want it to, to get. It's just kind of an awkward angle. I can't reach under there and pull it through. Can't get past the, uh, the foam baffles. So what you're gonna need is just get you a stiff piece of wire. You could use a coat hanger. This is actually um, like a campfire s'more stick. Straightened out. You're going to shape it kind of to the contour where you need to go. Then you're going to take the end of your power cable or whichever cable it is you want to run. Get you some tape. Any old tape will do. This is just some painter's tape that um, I had sitting on my workbench in the garage. And then you're going to tape the cable to whatever it is that you're using, your stiff wire, your coat hanger, whatever it may be. Just tape it up nice and good. And then now you have something a little bit more controllable, bend it just a little bit, and then you're gonna run it through the hole that you made up to where you're trying to get it to go. So uh, there's a good tip for you. All it's gonna cost you is a like and a subscription to the channel. So go ahead and pay up. I'm coming for you. Oh, yep, there it is. Now I can reach through and there's my power cable. Easy peasy. Look at that. Okay, I think 
the, the second one definitely went better than the first one. The only thing that I really changed was kind of I had a little bit of a better angle to work with the silicone. Now I'm using just regular silicone, clear silicone for like a kitchen or a bath. You're supposed to use marine grade silicone. Not sure what the difference is. I'm sure I'll find out uh, if this doesn't work the way of a marine gate, a marine. Ugh. If, I'm sure I will find out if this does not work the way a marine grade silicone does. Maybe I'll redo it later on. Who knows? This isn't necessarily a temporary solution, but also don't anticipate having this kayak. Um, for years and years and years i'm looking to upgrade in the hopefully not too distant future you know over the next couple of years so i'm sure it will hold up that long but we'll find out so now we're going on to the hydro concepts clamshell uh, to attach everything back out of the kayak interior hole into the fish finder so stay tuned Alrighty, well we are done with the install. Uh, I didn't show much of the Hydra Concepts install, and I'll tell you why. Um, I do not like it at all. Not necessarily the installation of it, I just don't like the product. Um, the pictures were a little misleading. The way it looked, it looked like you could run multiple cables out of the same clamshell. Uh, you cannot, you can only run one out of it. I bought it because I wanted to run both out at the same time, so they were coming out at the same port um, but it looks like I gotta buy another one or I might just replace them with another set of the yak attack through whole wiring kits and just have them coming out of the same port with different halves of the grommet inserts on there um, I'll show you what it looks like here it, it looks clean it looks good but I gotta have another one now for it to run the power cable that's the other thing actually no I probably won't get another hydro concept because the size of the wiring, uh, the part that goes around the wiring to hold it in place and seal it, it's not very big. It barely fit my uh, barely fit my transducer wiring, and it definitely will not fit the power cable wiring without me widening it, widening it which I guess I could if I wanted to. But anyways, uh, this is what it looks like here. You can see it looks real clean. Um, you know good look about it but that's about all i can say of it i'm not even really confident that it's 100 percent watertight but we will find out but anyways um this is been an installation of a yak attack through hole wiring kit and hydro concepts clamshell like i said i give the i give the yak attack through hole wiring kit an a minus only way it could be better is um if there was some way to get the wiring through the grommets without having to cut it uh, because I have end caps that plug in and I don't have free wires on one end of any of my wiring. You can't just slide it straight through one of the preset holes. You have to make a 45 degree cut in the grommet and pop it in place. I mean, you, you adhere it with silicone, it should be fine, but it's just not my favorite design concept, so A minus. Other than that, they look good. I think they're gonna be watertight and do their job. The Hydra Concepts, I give like a D right now. We'll see how it performs. But anyways, this has been Caleb with Certified Dinks. Appreciate you tuning in for this video. Uh, if it's not too much trouble and you enjoy the content, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, check out some of the other videos. But again, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.